Good morning, everybody. This is Kathy, and I am here to do a layout for you. Um, I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style, and I have already cut some papers. And this is, I am using this from the uh, Willow Lane collection, and I think this was... Um, a crepe paper scrap that I had in my kit. And this one, yes, Maggie Holmes, Willow Lane. This one is Amy Tangerine. Um, so anyway, um, this is the photo that I will be scrapping. And then I have I cut some strips too, and I am using um, the Willow Lane Ephemera pack. And then I pulled in old uh, Project Life cards um, because the ones I had just didn't go with this. So I will show you what I will do with that. So I'm going to start by adding this. And I think I'm going to like build up over on the left here. Kind of like there. And then I will use the next biggest piece. But I think I'm going to distress the edges and make a mess. Well, today's the first day that I could talk again. <laughs> um, it's my throat is still still hurts really bad, but I don't know what is going around. But I'm tired of being sick. So I did finish my antibiotic. So now I am just waiting it out. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And let's see, I think the black goes next. And again, I'm going to distress it. So has um, everybody been strapping? I usually get up in the morning, but I haven't felt good, so uh, my medicine is working to where I can walk now. I know I've mentioned that before, but um, I haven't been walking the last two mornings, and because or not two, it's been probably four or five days, and. Plus, it's been down to like 45 out, so I haven't really been walking that much, but I need to get back into it because, like, my bones get stiff and then I hurt worse. Okay, a little bit of information about me. <laughs> Um, okay, this is how this is going to go. Um, okay, this photo, I think, I don't know which color, but I'm going to try and mount my photo on there. And let's see, yeah, that kind of brings out her flowers in her dress. And then I think I was going to, just to separate the pinks, I am going to just have a little white peeking over here. Okay, let's do that.
Although, I didn't round my corners, but I don't really look at stuff like that. So, I'm not going to... There we go. All right. Now, I have this card here. Um, thought about sticking in here. But with all the texture, um, I think I might put some fun foam behind this. Um, okay, here's some. Might just cut a little piece. Well, let's just see. Yes, I like that. And I think I will just dress this card. We'll just get everything looking rough. Okay. all gone and I just changed this too well I think I will just use my regular glue and unless anytime like if no one it took me a while to um, learn how to put that tape in I had to use another needle for my, and it looks like it wasn't the right needle, and it made my glue brown. You have to have the right kind of pin for your glue. Can't see to get that in there. Yep, I ruined that. Gonna have to find a stainless steel pin. Okay, that's gonna go down here so that the happiness shows. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. Okay. Distress this a little bit. My uh, layout share that I or the layout that I did for Mini Kit Mondays. Um, I want to thank Lisa for giving me your input on where to put that bow. So I put it by my title and I love it there. So I want to say thank you. Okay, this one. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make a like a little strip over here. Now I have all that stuff on me. Whoops. Okay, let me see. I did pull this tag and this from the Maggie Holmes. Okay. 
or well, kind of like it there. Let me see. Here's some twine I'm going to put through the. this tag and there it is okay I'm just going to tie it in a knot wrinkled up being on that little cardboard. It's bent. Alright, so I will just snip that so that it's not too long. If the scissors would cut right. Guess I want my photo crooked like that. I don't know. Okay, I want there to be show that edge and that edge. So I don't know if that would be too close. There to there. Hmm. Let me see. Oh. I'll leave that there. Uh, maybe I could put the title here or um, hmm. Well, I'm going to do it. Um, okay, glued that, so. Okay, now put that there. Okay, how about using one of these bows? Um, okay. Oh, these are super soft. I don't know if anybody else has some, but they are. They are really soft them are pretty. What about having that there with some Amy Tans hearts and see I want to do a title I thought sweet would look thought about putting it down here but this is really close now so I might put it over here so I will go ahead and do that okay let's see where do I want to put it across here And over, like, put it over here, maybe. I don't know. We will see how this is going to drop. Nope. I don't like it. So, do we want to put it across here? 
or do I want it back over here where I originally wanted it? Maybe up a little bit. Glad these come up. And then a T. That gives a little black. Sweet. Let me see. No, if I like it, I think it's too small. What do you think? Over here. Atlanta. Okay. All right. I like that. That's where it's going. If I could put it on there straight. There. All right. And I think this is going to go here. Bring in some yellow over here. So I'm going to glue that down. Okay. All right. What else do I have? Let's pull some enamel dots. This, I think, with the pattern paper, I don't think I'm going to put anything over there, but maybe a few enamel dots. Or not. Maybe down here I'll put the different color. So I'm trying to use these up. So we'll just put the opposite color on. And there's a yellow one. It's different, but I'll put a pink there. I always leave the huge ones till the end, and then I end up having to put a lot of them, big ones on one layout, because I'm wanting to use up a lot of my stash. Okay, I'm going to bring this green in. Just a little touch of green. And I will put one over here. Just to give it a little. Um, put a couple over here. There's just a little, little touch of that green. Okay. Next, I think I will put some of these hearts. Um... Be a blue one. And how about a yellow? And one 
right there. Maybe a pink. Okay, I also got this stamp ready. They're uh, these little bitty hearts, and I thought it's kind of late, but I just remembered. I got the big heart off of this little one from Technique Tuesday, and I got the middle heart from Coco Daisy stamps. And then the itty bitty one came from Heidi Swap. Okay, so I think that will be, I will journal um, sometime. But I will, let's see. I think I want it down here. There we go. Oh, I like that. And let's put some over here. Maybe right there. Okay. And some up here by this cluster. There. I like that. I need to do more stamping because I have tons of stamps and I don't use it. So, okay, that is going to be it for this layout. It's simple, clean. Um, well, wait a minute. I want my black lines. Well, if this will work. There we go. And I'm just going to make them messy, but... Okay. Because I can't draw a straight line for anything and I draw these lines because I really think it helps um, draw the into your page like the black and the black hearts and the paper and it just really makes the white stand out alrighty here is another look at my finished layout and I want to thank all of you for coming to watch me. And um, please hit the thumbs up if you like my videos. And that way I know to make more. And all right. Thank you for subscribing. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.